Hey guys, so Apple continues on a roll today releasing yet another software update, yet a very important one as well. This one contains important security fixes and also some accessibility fixes as well. But as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now the first thing to note here is that iOS 15.3.1 was released today alongside iPadOS 15.3.1, watchOS 8.4.2, and macOS 12.2.1 as well. Now, the security update is across the board, and for iOS devices, there's also an issue that's been addressed here for accessibility users. Now, before we get to some of the details here, this software can be installed on your iPhone or iPad right now. There was no beta testing. You can go to General Software Updates, and iOS 15.3.1 should populate for your device. Now, right Right here it is the latest build number for iOS 15.3.1, 19D52. Now the first thing I want to talk about is right here, the issue that could cause some braille displays to stop working. Again, this is an accessibility feature, something that Apple wanted to push out quickly to fix this particular problem with braille displays. I'll link information in the description down below in case you're interested in learning a little more about that. But the other thing that Apple is addressing here across the board with Mac OS, iPad OS, iOS is a security issue as you can see right here if we head on over to apple's website and the security contents within ios 15.3.1 here it is there is an issue right here within the security of your iPhone and you should definitely consider updating. All these updates are of course recommended for all users. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the impacts here. Now the security impact is processing malicious crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Now in plain English, what this means is if you visit a website that's trying to gain access to your device, they could if they know what they're doing. So what you wanna do is of course, is update your iPhone. That is the takeaway with iOS 15. 15.3.1. So we have security update and of course the Braille display updates as well for accessibility owners. Now there's also something that Apple did announce today that has nothing to do with iOS 15.3.1 but it did catch my attention and I wanted to share the details with you guys. Apple on their newsroom today announced big updates coming to AirTags with a next update for AirTags and iOS Well, you'll get a prompt for your AirTags and showing you what AirTags do, what Air tags are meant to do and alerting criminals that attempt to track people using air tags now i'm sure you've probably heard the headlines many criminals are tracking people with air tags this is what the new setup screen will look like it will have your apple id it gives information on how air tags are meant to be used your apple id is associated to your air tags how apple can provide law enforcement with your information if you use air tags to track a person now i think this is a great update across the board apple takes privacy very serious and it looks like air tags will be getting an update for those that intend to use air tag in a negative way they will be held accountable again apple makes it very clear that criminals will be held accountable if they're looking to track people and they will be providing the law enforcement with your phone number your apple id all that stuff so i think this is a welcome addition welcome update to air tags and ios apple did not specify which software will be bringing this update to air tag however i'm hoping it is with ios 15.4 in the near future and that about brings it into this video just a quick update on ios 15.3.1 and the new air tag announcements today by apple thank you for watching guys again you can update right now your device and i'll see you on the next one peace